Hello everybody, it's me. Why do I like playing with my hair so much when I'm on camera? Um, so I said I'd make these and I don't have the best setup. Oh God, my hair's so terrible when it's wet. Whatever, I don't have the best setup for this. Um, hopefully I will when I get home in a couple weeks. So, sorry I'm like leaning. So, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about Danganronpa, the first episode of Future Arc, and the first episode of the Despair Arc. Spoilers. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the despair arc out of the way because not a lot happens uh, Spoilers for future arc the main The main character I guess I want to say is Chisa if I'm pronouncing that correctly Which is the first victim in the future arc. She was the first person to die So I guess that's why they killed her off first because they didn't want her in both um, And then we pretty much meet the cast of two again. Oops. Sorry, I had an alarm telling me to do the uploads, but it's all good. Um, let me catch my breath. I was, like, running around and, like, doing stuff before this. Um, and plus, it doesn't help that I'm, like, bent over like this. I, whatever. Um, so, we pretty much just meet every character again from Danganronpa 2. Um... And there's really nothing much to say about the Despair arc. There's no, like, kind of foreshadowing or anything. Um, the only, like, foreshadowing is after the credit scene, when they're looking at the files and Hajime is, one of the, is like, who they're looking at, which is probably for the Izuru Kamakura project. If you played 2, you understand what I mean. If you haven't, look it up. Um, it's, like, to make the ultimate hope, but I guess it goes wrong, and Junko uses it to her advantage, and it's not the ultimate hope. Um... So, let's talk about Future Arc. Um, people are saying not a lot happened in Future Arc, but at the same time, a lot of fucking things did. So, it's a new killing game. Uh, and also, when I'm at home, hopefully I'll be able to go in more in depth. I just don't have all of my equipment. I have my laptop and like a microphone that I could use, but um, I don't know. When I get definitely get back home, if I have the time, I'll do more in-depth analysis. This is just my thoughts on it. Um, and I might even do an analysis. I might just do the thoughts thing. Um, and I'll do these more frequently when episodes come out. Uh, I know it's... I know Despair Arc premiere today. I meant to do the future arc on uh, Monday when it came out. But as you can see, I'm not at home. So... Uh, I don't have a lot of time to record these because I'm here with my mom and I just want to hang out with my mom. Um, so, Future Arc, a lot of stuff happens. She says the first one to die. Monokuma shows back up. Um, Makoto is on trial for helping the Remnants of Despair in Danganronpa 2, which is he put them in the Neo World Project, which is pretty much the, the entire setting of Danganronpa 2. You find that at the end of the game. I guess spoilers for the entire series. Sorry to... Sorry I didn't say that in like the beginning, but you just hopefully assume because this anime is called Danganronpa 3. So, so um, he is on trial, so they go to the Overseas Hope's Peak Academy. They're no longer in Japan. I don't know where they are right now, actually. Then, you know, all the exits get blocked. There's helicopters that come in and like shoot all like the doors and stuff like that. All the guards are dead. So it's only the 16, I guess, because for me... Um, Hero, um, yeah, Hero is, like, he was outside the building looking at his crystal ball, and, um, one of the attacks happened, so he's not inside the building, so I don't know if he's a part of the killing game. Uh, and this is all for hope, you know, hopefully you've watched this. Uh, if not, go watch it, it's great. Watch the first anime, go to Kiss Anime, that's what I watch all my anime on. Uh, not sponsored, I kinda wish we were, though. Um... But then, it's kind of weird, somebody kind of pointed out a, a part in that, it's like, tell me, you know, Makoto's future, and then he ends up breaking the crystal ball, which that's interesting to think about. So, Monokuma shows back up, and it's weird, because Monokuma is still in Hope's Peak, and I guess that makes sense, because we haven't seen, um... We've only seen, like, mindless Monokumas, like, in another episode. And then Monokuma in 2 was, like, a computer program. So the only control pad for a Monokuma with that kind of, like, motion and, like, being able to speak is in Hope's Peak. But I'm surprised Hope's Peak wasn't, like, destroyed um, after everyone got out. 
But, so, Monokuma is broadcasting from the original Hope's Peak. And, you know, we got all these new characters. Uh, we have um, the returning cast from one, except for Byakuya and Toko. Byakuya is in um, Tawa City, I think. I'm trying to remember to the end of AE. No, that wouldn't be right. Because I know Toko is still in Tawa City with Komaru, but whatever. So we got Hina, we have Kyoko, we have Makoto, and then we have Hiro. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of everything. So Chisa dies from the chandelier. If you fucking follow anyone on Danganronpa wise on iFunny, like that is like the only like that's a meme now. The chandelier song by uh. Uh, I don't remember the name of it right now. Sorry, let me readjust. And so, um, there's a lot of stuff that's foreshadowing. Like, people are like, who got her on top of the chandelier, you know? The room is pretty trashed when they wake up. So they're so they're all sitting in this room. You know, the meeting's kind of adjourned. Um, somebody walks in late. It's the ultimate animator. I can't think of his name right now. I'm really bad at learning new character names. Um, they get gas. They wake up with these bracelets that have a countdown on them. And when these countdown ends, they get sprayed with gas and another person dies because there's a traitor among them. And so, uh, you know, when they go to sleep, like, the room is, like, normal looking and, like, a lot of equipment and stuff like that. But when they wake up, it's, like, completely trashed. Um, and so, you know, Monokuma comes on. He talks about how, you know, Future Foundation's been doing really good at getting rid of the remnants of despair and to, you know, to, like, give them a prize, they're going to have them kill each other, which that makes perfect sense. So, um, it's weird because Monokuma is like, you know, you'll treat it like a game just like your millennials do, which that line to me, it seems like he's like not in the age range. Like he's not in that generation. Whoever's controlling Monokuma, whoever the mastermind is, because like, Saying it like you millennials do is really weird to me. Like, that caught me. Um, and it, it totally could be Monica, which Monica was the mastermind in another episode. And she was shown to be uh, kind of like becoming the next Junko. And then, you know, Monokuma says that between Makoto and him, this is the last battle between hope and despair. Because this is the last thing. I like to call it the Junko arc. Because it all has to do with Junko and Oshima. Uh, unless the next game does, because I don't know yet. Nada has been a lot released about that. But hopefully after, since the uh, um, animes are starting to premiere, hopefully we'll get more game news. Because right now it's only a Japan exclusive, and I would really love it if it came out in the States. But, so, this is the very end of the Junko arc. I mean, Despair arc and Future arc are the last things to happen or Despair Arc is the very first thing to happen in the series, and Future Arc is the very last thing to happen in the series. So this is the end of the Junko Arc, honestly. And um, it's kind of sad that we won't see all these characters again, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad they're wrapping it up instead of, like, going on forever. And um, I really love the animation styles. I love the way it looks. I love the intros. I love the outros. The outro is very interesting to me on the Future side, or the Future Arc, is Makoto is holding this flower, and as this flower is decaying, like, so is he, and, like, stuff is just, like, covering him. And at the very end, like, you know, a flower, spur like, spurts up, like a new flower does. And to me, that's interesting. So, like, my thought of process is that maybe Makoto might die. Like, you know, honestly, I, I think Makoto might die. Um, but... I have a feeling he's going to do something to sacrifice himself, and by doing that, he's going to give others hope. That's what that means to me, but I could be totally wrong. We'll just have to see uh, in the next 12 weeks um, as that rolls out. So yeah, um, I can't think of anything else. Sorry this wasn't as put together as i like it to be. It's just I'm not home right now, so I don't have a lot of time to work on other things. Um, because I just want to spend time with my mom and stuff like that. I'm just home alone because she's at work right now and she's going to come home soon anyway. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Tell me what you thought about, uh, the new Danganronpa episodes in the comments below. If you haven't watched them, go watch them. Watch the first Danganronpa anime. Only 12 episodes. It's great. I love Danganronpa. I know I talk about it all the time on podcasts, and that's for a fucking reason. Because I really do love them. So, 
Uh, tell me what you thought down in the comments below, and uh, I will see you guys next Monday, next Thursday, or I might just do it where I put them together. It just depends what happens each episode. Like, I didn't talk about the spare arc all that much because nothing really happens. We were just introduced to the second cast again, and there was, like, Jin Kirigiri, which is Kyoko's dad. Uh, we were introduced to uh, Chiesa, Chisa, I don't know how to pronounce her name, sorry. Um, again, because, and a very meta opening. Very meta opening. <laughs> because it was very, like, fourth wall breaking, where she's, like, watching the last episode of, Fut like, the first episode of Future Arc, and she's like, oh, I died. Like, isn't that sad? It's like, I used to be the teacher for the, ult like, ultimate despair, and it's like, will this end happy or, or sad? It's like, who knows? It's like, we kind of do, because they come ultimate despair. Like, I can't imagine that having a happy ending or not. Um... Because even she says it's a story that in, like begins with hope and ends with despair. And I imagine Future Arc is a th story that begins with despair and ends in hope. So, um, yeah. So, as I said, tell me what you thought about the uh, episode down below. D did I forget anything? Did I miss anything? As I said, I'll probably take notes over the next couple episodes. Um, I only got, to, got the chance to watch these episodes once, so I'm going off memory. So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you thought, and uh, leave it down in the comments below, and see you guys. Bye.